Greetings, Scorpio. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 15th of April through the 21st. Let's get straight into it. What's going on with you, Scorpio? Speak to me. What's going on in your love life? Get two more shots. bottom of the deck, ladies and gentlemen. Is this really you? Are you really as emotionally grounded as you emotionally mature as the King of Cups? Or is it a myth? Anyways, Ace of Coins. Ace of Coins, ladies and gentlemen. This is a wonderful card to start with. I mean, a number one. Okay, first card out of the deck, number one. Anyways, this entails a new opportunity. This could be something coming your way that, you know, could be an, an opportunity or this this is just an, an opportunity being experienced, something new. We're going to see. We're, let's go with the flow, see what's going on here. So, in the challenge position, we have the judgment. Hmm. Things are beginning to line up. You may be dealing with the earth sign here with the king of coins being in your... All right, I'm already getting a sense of what's taking place here. So, could be dealing with a situation that's been stagnant, okay? Whomever it is that you're dealing with, including yourself, all right? It seems as, mind you, it takes two people to tangle in a relationship. And what I'm seeing here is just an element of stagnation. However, it's changing, hence the Ace of Coins, all right? This is a relationship. This, uh, this connection is something that's already established. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, set, like direct and literal, but the understanding between you and whomever it is that, you got, that you're involved with when it comes to your love life, there's already an establishment in regards to what the relationship is. It's something romantic. There is no question about it. That we're not friends or whatever. This is something romantic. We got romantic interests with one another. All right? That's what I'm saying here. However, in the future, I'm seeing the Eight of Cups, which speaks of relinquishment, walking away from something. That's going to be interesting to look into. What are you walking away from? You're walking away from this relationship? I don't think so because you're exuding this energy of the Eight of Cups. I mean, the Eight of Coins, which speaks of putting forth effort in a situation, diligently crafting something. All right? And this is a love reading after all. So this insinuates that you're, going to, that you're putting forth effort into a relationship, the person you're dealing with. The Queen of Wands, beautiful. This is the sexiest individual in the entire tarot deck. All right? Wow, what are your desires of? The king of wands, okay? And the, believe me, I'm not interpreting this as if you're, in desi you're desirous of, of someone similar to them. No, you're desirous of them. You're desirous of this couple. You want to experience a power couple. You want to experience a couple, an expi uh, a power couple. Let the outcome be the lovers, damn it. It's not the lovers, ladies and gentlemen. On the contrary, it's the Nine of Cups, which speaks about it speaks about self-interest. You see, the Nine of Cups is all about self-contentment. Self-contentment. So you're happy. You're happy with where things are, Scorpio. Okay? This is great. Things may not be, you know, a love story novel, per se. Or your love life may not be a, you know, a romantic novel. It may not be as good as that. It could be. But it's not. Okay, it's not. Nevertheless, you are happy. You don't even give a shit whether it's a romantic novel or not. Maybe you may say that. That sounds good. I wish it was, but not really. I'm not seeing that. You, you seem content. You seem happy. You seem happy with where things are. So, after all, you actually just may live up to the, the hype of the King of Cups. Alright. Now, let's quench my curiosity and your curiosity. What is Scorpio walking away from here in the near future. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. The two of cups. They're walking away from this relationship. They're walking away from... Yes. Guys, 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 guys. What's going on here? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Alright, well, fuck. You see... The Devil, the Four of Cups. Guys, I I'm just reading, okay? I'm not making this shit up. I'm going with the flow. And, and I have a, a deep, intimate connection with my spirit, guys. And I, I, I speak with conviction with regarding what I'm seeing here. And I'm seeing you walk away from this in the future, okay? I'm seeing you walk away from this relationship. So after all, I may not be so significant. But you know what? It's okay. You're content, Scorpio. You're happy. 
Maybe this is why in the outcome, we have you focusing on yourself, not the relationship. What is this eight of coins? What is this, this sense of effort, this focused effort that Scorpio seems to be exuding? What is this? Mm. All right, Scorpio, look, I get the sense that you're, you've been dealing with a relationship that has undergone, we can call them hiccups, right? Bumps on the road. And you're establishing reciprocity. You're establishing goodness with this individual, okay? You're moving towards closing out this turbulence that exists between you two with reciprocity, with equal flow of giving and taking between one another. And that's it. That's it. That doesn't entail that you're going to be happily ever after with this individual. This is good. This is progression. This is progression. So after all, this relationship may not be as significant as, as I thought it was. <clears throat> How significant is this relationship to Scorpio? How significant is this relationship to Scorpio? Yeah, this is something new. I mean, this is something good. This is something good to say the least. This is something that that does invigorate passion, that does ignite passion within you, Scorpio, to say the least. But why, I'm not gonna look into the future. Let's focus on the present, okay? Let's focus on the present right now. Talk to me about this Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins, you see, this is temperance, or rather, this is tempering. So things are, are mending at this time, Scorpio. Things are mending. You're in a process of mending a situation. You're mending turbulence in a relationship. All right? And this is something, this is a relationship that does fill a certain part of your heart. But something that I continue to find baffling is the future. All right? But then again, the future is malleable. The future is malleable. You may be agreeing with me and saying, yeah, you're right. This relationship isn't that significant. And I can actually see myself walking away from this, even though I'm investing into it at this time. All right. <clears throat> Let's look into the, the judgment. You see, the judgment is the realization. The judgment may be the lack of realization. There you are. Scorpio, are you lying to yourself? Are you lying to yourself? Are you, are you investing into a situation that you, deep down, aren't really invested in? That's what I'm getting the understanding of. Why the Nine of Cups? Why the Nine of Cups? This is good. This is you. Okay. The Nine of Cups. It's like some sort of toxicity has compelled you to focus on yourself. All right. Let's look further. <clears throat> Hmm, interesting. Look, Scorpio, you're invested in a situation. I feel something happened here that changed the way you feel about them internally, deep down. Put you in a contemplative state. You start questioning the relationship. You start questioning this individual. And even though you're investing into this individual or investing into mending this relationship with this person, you are choosing to focus more on yourself. You are choosing to refrain from investing profound emotional feelings into this, even though you're investing your energy into this, your own deep feelings is what you're refraining from investing is what I'm seeing here. All right. What is the devil? What is the devil energy? What is the devil? Why is the devil? In there? <clears throat> There's an, a, a sense of determination to fix this shit. And I think that's why you're doing it. It's not, it's not necessarily out of love, guys. I'm not getting love. I'm not getting love. It's like a relationship that you're just determined to rectify, okay? And you are in the process of rectifying this. And as a, you are doing this, you're even losing more and more interest in it. Wow. Okay. What about this individual? Talk to me about this individual that Scorpio is dealing with. Would help me understand this person. Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more. This this is opposed. This is a contradicting energy here. Earth with fire, they don't mix. Okay. Fire and air, they mix. Wow, look at that. 
This individual is also contemplating abandoning, abandoning this relationship, guys. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here. So look, if you're having those thoughts, if you're having tumultuous thoughts that are aligned with invulnerability with this individual, know that this individual is also contemplating the same energy. Okay? They're contemplating the same energy. So it's like you guys are on the same boat here. Put it like this. Whatever it is that you're experiencing here, the way you feel about the relationship, your motive and your projection, this individual seems to be on the same frequency that you are. And really that's what happens, Scorpio. It's kind of like love. When, when an individual truly loves themselves and they're not in that dire state of, I need a relationship in order to be happy. How many people are like that? I need a relationship in order to be happy, in order to feel love. Really? No, that's not the way it works. It's kind of like, I need, I need my dream home in order for my life to be fulfilled. I need my dream home in order for me to be happy. You're never going to fucking find that. Why? Because that happiness, that love, is something that, that stems from within. You love yourself. You learn to cultivate that love, that essence within yourself. That full acceptance and love. And then you attract it to you. You don't go out looking for it. Who could provide me with love? I'm looking for it to experience love. Who could provide me with it? <laughs> no one will if you don't do it for yourself. Okay? So I'm not saying that that's your case. What I'm saying is we attract what we are. And that is what you've attracted. You've attracted someone that is like you. Okay? That is what I'm seeing there, Scorpio. You attracted each other. You attracted each other. And I'm not seeing this relationship prosper. Okay, I'm not seeing it in a dire negative state either. I'm not seeing disaster, but I'm seeing a detachment in the future. Okay, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to look further into this individual. All right, what are their true desires with you? What actions will they be taking towards you, Scorpio? What are their feelings? What are their thoughts regarding you? The link will be in the description. Scorpio, at the end of the day, you got yourself. And you're doing good. You got nothing to worry about. If you lose this relationship, good. Because it wasn't for you. Okay? There's something better out there for you. I'll see you in the extended. Or I'll see you guys around.